Here's the story of a guy named Quincy who wanted to start an online TV show. All the episodes would be super awesome, just like him in real life. Here's another story of that same guy, Quincy, who was busy with a website of his own. It was also awesome with baller content, but no visitors and all alone. Till that one day Quincy came to the realization that he can do whatever he wants and it'll be fine. That sparked one idea, then another. That's the way he started Quincy time. Quincy time. That's Quincy time. That's the way he got started with Quincy time. Yeah! Welcome back to another sweet episode of Quincy Time. It's Quincy. That's me. It's my time. It's my show. I do what I want. You already know that. Let's get started because I know you're dying to know. Quincy, who won last week's hashtag Beat Quincy MLS Fantasy Challenge League? Well, guess what? I'm going to give you that information right now. In first place was RCD Latin Lovers with 121 sultry points. Congratulations to you, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. New segment just released today. QRS. What's that stand for, Quincy? I'll tell you again. I forgot. Oh, it's Quincy's random stat. So what does that mean? This week's random stat number is 69. Fouls suffered so far this season. For those of you who don't know, that's third most in the league so far. Watson forcing that turnover in a violent collision. Another random stat is in second place with, I think it was 72 fouls suffered, was Benny Failharbor, who also has his own show, The Benny Hub Failharbor Show. If you guys haven't checked it out, it's pretty funny. You should go check that out. But I think there's some type of conspiracy going on because the two people with their own television shows are the most fouled players in the league. Hmm? You guys a little jealous? Hmm? That you don't have your own TV show? Hmm? Getting a little angry and... Kicking us, hmm? Fouling us a bit, hmm? Wish you had a little bit of TV time show and it comes to you, but you don't get any, so you watch our show and you're a little bad about it, hmm? Thinking about writing a book about it, hmm? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and first most fouled so far this season is Nagby of Portland. But whatever, that doesn't prove my point, so you don't count. For those of you who don't know, but you probably do, or you should if you follow the fire at all, as you should, and you do, because you're watching my show right now, we signed another forward by the name of Robert Earnshaw. It's pretty sweet. This man's played in only two games. He's already got two goals. So I decided I need to interview this man, get inside that head of his, and see what he's up to and what he's thinking about. All right, guys, welcome to another episode of Quincy Time. It's my time. It's my show. I do what I want. And what I wanted to do was another Quincy Time interview. We're out here rhyming and it hasn't even started yet. You're on fire already. I'm killing it. Cooking. <laughs> Woo! I'm here with the prolific goal scorer, Robert Earnshaw, newly acquired fire forward. Welcome to the show. Thanks, mate. Thanks for having me. Glad to have you here. I've, I've heard big things all the way from the UK. They, they're running wild up there. I mean, I don't like it's to Quincy time. You've got to go in Quincy That's time. You've got to go. I don't now like, I'm here. I don't like to brag. <laughs> but I do a little bit. And Quincy time's going international, so I'm glad to hear they're, they're getting it over there in the UK. Yeah, so you just let me know when I messed up the first intro to this show, that you've been acquired from Blackpool. That was uh -huh. your last club. And before that, you played for Toronto FC, right? Yeah. Yeah, I was <laughs> Toronto last year. Uh, Blackpool, I spent a couple of months at Blackpool earlier this year. And uh, then I was out of contract. And then uh, signed for Chicago Fire. Awesome. So you are new to the city. You haven't been here before other than... No. And Fresh, and new to the city. So. Nice. And how are you enjoying it so far? It's been good. It's been good. I like the city. I like the vibe. Uh, I think it's a cool city. Um, and I'm looking forward to enjoying it. And so what do, you, what do you got going on outside of, outside of soccer? Well, um, I have a luxury headwear brand okay. called uh, Black Zinc, uh, B-L-A-Q, Z-I-N-Q. Um, and it started uh, about a year ago. And uh, it took to about now to create what we going to put out there, you know, and uh, in the next uh, three to four weeks, but 
probably in the next two weeks, there'll be a website up, uh, blacksync.com, and you'll be able to see what we've created in the last year. So yeah, so your website is launching in a few weeks. We're going to make sure everyone checks that out. Mm -hmm. um, but you'll be debuting this, what is it, on the 25th? 25th of September with the soccer and style um, collaboration with the uh, Chicago Fire soccer team. So it's going to be an exciting night. And uh, you know, that's going to be our uh, pre pretty much our, our soft launch. So another one. So have you always been the shortest guy on your team? Um, pretty much, yes. I'm like five, 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 six. So <laughs> I'm small, <laughs> but I've learned to live with it. <laughs> so how old were you when you finally accepted that you're just not going to grow anymore? Do you know what? I've, I've actually, I never, I never thought about it. You know, yeah. I think, yeah, you just, because I just, obviously when I was young, I was always the smallest. I was always the skinniest. Uh -huh. And then, you know, I just learned to live with it. So you just, <laughs> you know. You have to deal with bigger guys, you know? <laughs> so it's like, okay, I'm going to be better. <laughs> there it. you go. Yeah. It's always better. I'm going to be better. We all have our different attributes. Hey, and fair enough. Different there's qualities. Ones, yeah, there's those ones where you may be like 13, you're like, oh, I'm going to hit my growth spirit <laughs> any day now. It's yeah. coming soon. Yeah. No problem. 2021, 20, you're like, uh, yeah. It's on the way. It's on the way. <laughs> 25. Yeah, any day now. Yeah. Any day. <laughs> Like, I think I grew today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Robert. That's your full name, right? Yeah. What do you prefer to be called? I never even asked you. Do you know what? Yeah. I got called everything. Robert, Robbie, Rob. Ernie. Uh, Ern Dog. <laughs> <laughs> the Zambian Prince. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ernie. Just, I don't mind. I don't mind now. So what's your, what's your preference? Preference? Uh... When I'm feeling gangsterish, it's like earned dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's only like one day of the week. Yeah, from time to time. <laughs> uh, Rob, Rob is good. Rob works. Rob, Robbie, Robert. Okay, cool. Well, Rob, thanks so much for being on the show. Thanks we, for having me. We appreciate the time. We're gonna have to have him on again sometime soon. Maybe we'll have um, hat tutorials or design or something. I don't know. We'll think of something. Yeah, we'll come up with something. And we'll we'll do it. And we'll shamelessly plug ourselves every step of the way. So thanks again so much for joining, this, joining us on the show today. I'm sure everyone out there appreciated it. They had a good time. So that is the show. Thanks for watching and checking it out. But before you take off, I got some sweet stuff to update you on. First and foremost, the celebration of this awesome video game. I don't know if you've heard about it. I'm in it. It's pretty cool. It's called FIFA 15 is releasing very soon and we're putting together a pretty cool tournament amongst the players that you guys are going to like. So be on the lookout for that. Second, come this Saturday, we play DC United. This is one of the last final home games of the year. Should be a good one. Should be. It will be a good one and you're going to enjoy yourself. So come on out. Next, go check out QuincyTime.co. Join my newsletter read my articles, comment on stuff, you know, participate, enjoy yourself, have a look around. CF97 Third Kid is coming out pretty soon. See all black, it's pretty sweet. It's coming out in October. Be on the lookout for that. That should be on sale soon. The Quincy Time Shop is almost released. It's gonna be sweet. We've got some awesome t-shirts. Let me let you know, we're making a Quincy Saurus t-shirt. <laughs> baller can't wait so if you want to know when that's coming out which should be soon go to quincymiracle.com slash shop or just go to quincytime.co and go to shop and join the early bird newsletter because you're going to get a sweet discount on t-shirts and everything you want to buy when we launch all right guys that's our show we'll check it out <laughs>